Hey guys, Miles here with a quick video for you guys who train both rifle and pistol. When you are training, you typically, you know, when you when you go dry with your rifle, you're going to do one or two things, right? You're going to either reload your rifle, okay, so you'd break it down, release the mag, and, and do all that good stuff here, okay? Or you would transition to your pistol. Now, either one is great, but here's the, the point of this video is that when it comes to actual training and kind of what we, what the, the neural pathways that we're building, okay, also known as a muscle memory, what happens is we are going to get confused if we don't pick one method if it actually happens under stress. What do I mean by that? You're taking shots with your rifle, all of a sudden you go dry, and if in your mind you have not made the decision to either transition or reload, you will pause for a second because you do not know which one you're gonna go to. So the point of this video is for you to decide on your own, okay? Once you go dry, what is your go-to? Is it a transition or a reload? I would favor the transition because it's faster, right? I could stay in the fight. So if I go dry, bolt locks back, or there's a malfunction or whatever, whatever it is, okay? I'm not going to deal with the malfunction yet or reload. What I would do is I'm just going to transition to my pistol. All right, take shots, get to cover, do what I need to do. Then I could deal with my rifle reload or deal with the malfunction later on. Whereas if you decide to do the mal deal with the malfunction or th do the reload first, you can. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But if I was in an actual gunfight, I'd rather be taking shots back rather than having to deal with that. Now, if you didn't have your pistol, yes, that's your go-to, right? You're gonna reload or you're going to uh, deal with the malfunction. But in this case, if you're carrying both a rifle and a pistol, it helps to go into your training and just overall, what's your default status th these days? What's your default procedure? You run into some kind of malfunction with your rifle or you need a reload. For me, it is going to my pistol transitioning. All right. For some of you, it might be, okay, you're not going to transition. You might be breaking down the rifle or dealing with a malfunction. So again, quick video just to have you guys consider which one you want to go to because that's going to help again under stress when you're tired you will not have to think about it anymore because you're going to train that all the time and i know i've, I've gone to you know this happened actually happened to me and i see it all in a lot of classes when i was first starting i had to choose one and it was uh, armor ranger dave steinbach who really got me thinking about it he was the one who first brought it up with me and literally in our first training session together I ran, my bolt ran dry, or my, my rifle ran dry, and I kind of got confused. Did I transition or did I reload? It took me you know, one to two seconds to figure out what I wanted to do. And then we see this in our own classes as well, or when we're attending other classes, when someone goes dry or there's a malfunction, their pistol is right there. They can easily transition. Where some people who haven't made that decision yet, that conscious decision, are going back and forth and don't really know what to do, right? So they take a split second, or maybe, you know, maybe a second or two to think, and that slows them down. All right, so make sure you guys choose one of them. That's gonna help speed things up if you do run into a malfunction or you go dry on your rifle. If you guys like the content, as usual, like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you in the next one.